Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up our options so that way we don't have to worry about our PS4 accidentally upgrading to anything higher than 9.00. This does work for anything below 9.00 and below. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just jump right into it. First thing what we're going to do is go over to our settings. We'll scroll to the bottom to our system and we'll go to automatic downloads. From here, we can go ahead and just uncheck everything as we don't need any of this to uh, to come in. And none of it will be able to come in anyways because we're going to go ahead with the DNS of Alice Ifs and uh, block everything from Sony. So we'll go ahead and back into there. Next step, we're going to go up to our network. And we'll go ahead and set up our internet connection. We're going to go with, in my case, is Wi-Fi. You, if you're on LAN, you can go with LAN. And then we're going to go from here, custom, because we want to be able to change the DNS. So we'll give it a minute here just to load up the Wi-Fi connections. Then you can go ahead and select your Wi-Fi. Go ahead and put in your password. Go ahead and hit OK. Now you may get a message that the system update is downloaded. Don't worry about it. We're going to be out of here before that is done. So go ahead and hit automatic. Do not specify. And DNS, we're going to go with manual primary DNS. We'll go ahead and delete that out. And it's going to be 167.83.145 and our secondary will be 192.241.221.79 I'll leave them up on the screen for a moment just so you can jot them down. Or you can go ahead and hit the pause button. And then we'll go ahead and hit next. Automatic and do not use. You can go ahead and test the internet connection, but I'm pretty sure it will work, so you don't need to go ahead and hit it. Just hit circle to back out of there. And you can back out of there again. Go ahead and launch our browser. And we're just going to do the usual here. Just close that first window as we have to type in the address bar. Okay, so we'll go ahead and type in Karos host 218.ir. Go ahead and select it. You can use whichever host you want. All hosts usually have the payloads. But we're going to go ahead and use Karos host. So we'll go ahead and select 9.00 gold. And we'll give it a few moments here to install the cache just so we can have it on our system. Shouldn't take too long as it is at uh, 25% and it's going pretty quick. So we'll give it a few more moments and uh, we should be able to jump right into it. There we go, 50%. Okay, 80%, 90%, and it's successful. So we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button, go over to our settings, go to network, and we'll uncheck from the internet. You don't need to. I've done this many of times, and you can stay connected if you wish, but for the video, we'll go ahead and just disconnect. Go ahead and launch our browser. And we'll go ahead with Goal 10 version 2. Give it a few moments here. It should pop up with uh, telling us to insert our USB. Okay, five more seconds and it should come up. There we go. So we'll go ahead and insert our USB. 
and we'll just wait for the unsupported file system to pop up. And there we go, this USB storage file system is unsupported. Go ahead and hit OK and Goal 10 2.0 be loaded. So we can go ahead and click OK. We want to get back to the main page there. Just ignore that, there's not enough memory, that's fine. It usually always comes up. Um, and from here, we're just going to go with Disable Updates. But before we do that there, we need to enable our bin loader. So we'll go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. We'll go over to Settings. We do have our Goal 10 options. And we'll go ahead and select Bin Loader. We do not need to be connected to the internet for this, as it's already all in our cache. So we'll back out of there. Go ahead and launch our browser. And we'll go with Disable Updates. And what it does is just creates a dummy file in the PS4 Update folder. So we'll go ahead and select it. And as you can see, the payload is loaded. Disabled Updates. Now you only have to do that, that once. Uh, unless you switch your hard drive, you'll have to do it all over again, but now that that's done, we do not have to worry about it anymore. A good way to know if your DNSs are working, you can go ahead and go into settings, just enable your network again, and we can back out of there and just go up to your user guide. If you do go into your user guide, Al if Zips host should come up, it should be redirected to it, and that's how you know that your DNSs are working. But yeah, other than that there, that's it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on an important video that comes out. Thanks for watching the video, guys.